The headline this summer was Oklahoma minus two. Now they're more than a seven-point home dog against Tennessee, a team that's just been explosive, breaking records left and right. So the question becomes, is this an overreaction, or is there still value with the balls? Hey, look, we had an easy winner with them last week. I'll let you know how to play this game, which side to play, and also my 10,000-game simulation, which tells you exactly where the line value is. That's coming up free in this video in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down your 7.30 Eastern National Primetime matchup this Saturday night on ABC, Tennessee at Oklahoma. And let's first start with these Vols. As I mentioned, they've just been dominant, and we had no problem backing them last week as a 49-point favorite for my clients at wagertalk.com. In fact, they were up 65 nothing at the half, cruised to a 71 nothing win. I always like to play big favorites in September. We had Miami of Florida last week as well. In fact, Miami and Tennessee last week won by a combined 133 to nothing for my clients. I've done this for 29 years as a full-time professional handicapper. Not sure that'll happen again in the next 29 years, but we'll take it. It's part of our 3 and one Saturday. But I do think this is an overreaction to recent results, and the value is now with Oklahoma for several reasons. First of all, I mentioned that look-ahead line back in June at the Circa. Oklahoma minus two was a bettable opening line. Uh, but I run a 10,000-game simulation for the database each and every week, and that also points to line value here. Now, by the way, DraftKings last week, they do an advanced line every Wednesday for major games. Uh, they opened Tennessee minus two. So once again, the summer line was Oklahoma minus two. Look ahead a week ago was Tennessee minus two. And then Tennessee, of course, has a blowout win. Oklahoma Sooners look kind of lackluster again against Tulane. Um, and now the line is seven, seven and a half. My 10,000 game simulation through my database has Oklahoma winning by two on average. That's right. Oklahoma winning outright by two on average. And that factors in even the slow offensive start for the Sooners. Quarterback Jackson Arnold has not thrown the ball well this season. But one thing he's done fairly well is move and run. And Tennessee has a very strong pass rush. I think having a mobile quarterback here for Oklahoma could actually be an advantage, especially at home. Volunteers also have been dominant against weaklings, and Heupel's been the best first half coach in all of college football. I mentioned that huge monster lead in the first half, and then he just kind of cruised in the second half last week. So if you are going to back Tennessee, you maybe look at a minus four early, but there's just no line value here. This line is vastly inflated. So the question becomes, can we trust Oklahoma plus seven or more at home? And I think we can. I mentioned the ability to run the ball here. The Sooners' defense has also been much better against the run this year than in years past. Held their first two opponents to 69 and 58 net yards on the run, just 106 last week against a capable Tulane squad, and held Tulane to just 173 passing yards. So I do think this is by far the best defensive opponent that Tennessee has faced. Yeah, they played NC State. But they've also played Chattanooga and Kent State. They were combined 90-point favorite in those two games. This is a huge step up in class and the first true road game. That NC State game, of course, was Charlotte. But this is the first true road game of the season. This is a vast overreaction based on recent results. And at seven or more, the line value is with the Oklahoma Sooners on Saturday night. Keep in mind, I read all the comments, I reply back. Let me know below your thoughts. Do you trust Oklahoma here, or is Tennessee just a pure play-on team that's going to continue to smack everybody here in college football? Uh, let me know. Comment below. I do read the comments, I reply back. Also, what other college football best bets do you like this weekend on Saturday? Thumbs up, like the video. That's always appreciated, a thumbs up, like. And don't forget, click subscribe and hit the bell as well for an instant alert so you know when these free play videos go up throughout the week for college and pro football, also daily baseball free play videos. And don't forget, my college football top 25 video will be up here on this channel for the Friday and Saturday games. This one will be on the video along with three more with my simulation and database predictions. So check out my top 25 video for an in-depth dive into the biggest games this weekend. And also my NFL Fade the Public video, which will be up on Saturday for Sunday's most public sides in the NFL. Click that bell for an instant alert when you subscribe here on Wager Talk TV. If you want my personal best bets for this Saturday, we're looking to have another huge Saturday. 3-1 last Saturday, and we're going to cruise again this week. I've, got, I've isolated some very strong best bets in college football for my personal clients, and it's quite simple. If I'm using a game, my clients get it as well. And last year and the year before, in fact, the past two seasons combined, nobody has won more ATS units of profit in college and pro football combined at Wager Talk than I have. And I'm number one in all of baseball profit this year as well, including a current 29-9 and baseball hot streak which includes back-to-back -back extra inning losses. That's right. We've lost an extra innings the last two games, and we're still on a 29-9 run. That's how good baseball's been going this year. So what, if you want the rest of baseball, if you're on for football and want baseball through the World Series, promo code MLB50 gets you an instant $50 discount. If you're not on board football yet, you want to get on board this strong card this weekend. Rest of the football season, instant $100 discount with promo code FBALL100, FBALL100. 
or if you want to get all sports, all access every day and take a serious and consistent investment approach, and that is really how you win long term, then consider the one-year all sports, all access special with the instant $800 discount when you use promo code SM365. That works out to just over $3 a day, just over a dollar per play for every college and pro football, college and pro basketball, and Major League Baseball play for the next 365 days and nights. Promo code SM365 gets it done. Now, look, you don't have to memorize the promo codes. They're all on my homepage right now, right below the best bets each day and a daily free play. That's right. Check out a bonus free play every day on my page as well. And then right below that, you'll see all those great promo codes and special offers. No matter which one you choose, don't miss out. A strong football weekend once again. Went 5-2 and two last weekend. 3-1 and one on Saturday, 2-1 and one on Sunday in the NFL. And I've got an even stronger card this weekend for college and pro football. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Hey, get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on X and Instagram at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L. At Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned right here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free betting content coming up next. <laughs> 